Yo! What up, YouTube? It's Rain. The ma 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 mask. Um, and this is something a bit different. When I say different, I don't mean like it's not. It's it's, it's going to be trainers. But hey, hey yo, you can see them there. So what these are are the Reebok Classic Workout Low Plus FP Men. FP standing for Foot Patrol. Now, I'm one of those people, yeah. Oh shit. I'm one of them people that when I see, if I see it and I like it, straight away I've got to get it. No matter what people say, I'm buying it. And these were one of those trainers. I wasn't sure about what the materials would look like, but obviously this is why I'm doing the review and showing you guys. But anyway, so let me just show you them. Boom, skeng. Now, enough man were like, oh man, it's a workout. You can't buy a workout and all that. And I'm like, huh? What do you mean? I can't buy a workout. What do you mean I can't buy a workout? Whose money is it? <laughs> you know them way there. But anyway, I looked at these and I thought, yeah, okay, they're they're wassy. I wanted to get a pair of workouts for a long time. Um, and there was a particular pair that there's a guy called Shane, I think it's Shane X111 on YouTube, um, or Shane Africa Rainer, inverted commas. Um, yeah, so he, he had a pair of workouts and I missed them. But and I saw these and thought, yep, good substitute. People were saying, oh, you can't buy them, they're 95 pounds. Oh, no, you can't have them because they... I'm like, rah, <laughs> give me a break. But anyway, so Foot Patrol did a collaboration or have linked up with Reebok. This is what they look like. So an all black trainer with a white midsole. Yes, the white midsole will get dirty quickly, but it's one of those things. It's 95 pound, fucking hell. If you can't afford 95 pounds... Actually, let me not say that because a lot of people took offense when I said it before. But anyway, let's get into some of the details. So the actual... I'm not sure if the camera lighting is great, but the actual toe box area is a nice quality perforated suede. You can probably just make out perforated because it's got the holes in the toe box. You can probably just make out that. Um, then it goes right the way round. Now to this section here, which is actually, and the lighting is not, ah, oh, there you go, perfect. It's actually pony hair or hair. I don't know what hair it is. Could be from someone's weave. It could have been from a pony. It could have been from a, a little Indian person who donates their hair to give weave. If you're not sure about what I'm talking about, do a YouTube search and find out I'm not being bad racist or whatever it may be. But anyway, it's 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 call it let's call it pony hair for argument's sake. So a nice little touch there. Gets a bit out of hand, but that's why I've got my liquid proof brush shouts out to liquid proof who sorted me out this stuff boom brush it down you get me it's all blessed then you've got the reebok um classic logo just in there so in white on the other trainer it's a different color which i'll show you in a minute you flick right around to the back you've got the foot patrol detailing or the foot patrol logo so or the foot patrol text that's not even foot patrol text is it but anyway it says foot patrol and then you've got the reebok classic or you've got the reebok sign i don't know if that's a reebok classic sign or if it's just a reebok sign somebody will correct, correct me as you always do um, and then on this side of the trainer you've got the reebok detailing but you can't actually see it because it's blacked out but it is there same pony hair on this side um yada 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 now this pair comes with three pairs of laces the foot patrol laces which you can see there let me just give you a zoom pity pal so two pairs of laces they're a bit long then you get an all black pair of laces with white tips and then you get a pair of all white laces also with white tips i'm thinking i might put those in um, a pair of jordans well, let's see what happens anyway so some of the unique features of the trainer so when you take out well that's it anyway so inside you've got some detailing so launched in 1987 and then there's some craft work in regards to what the actual trainer um design is so it's actually a sketch of the trainer inside on the insole which is quite good then you've got this detailing here an athlete's shoe from a tradition of over 100 years these handmade athletic shoes meet blah 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 but a nice little detail there anyway then on the inside my phone's ringing um it basically says for sale not a sample so a nice little touch there you know what i mean nice little touch um then when i flick around to the tongue the tongue has got a nice the same kind of suede which is on the toe box but then the actual oh, 
bollocks. Why is that going so wrong? The actual um, piece here, which I'm going to try and bring into focus, this piece here is a dense leather. And it basically goes, it actually says something about what Reebok means. So Reebok, pronounced Re, R E, Bok, is a South African antelope. Maybe that's the lever, or maybe that's the suede it came from, I don't know, who knows. Um, but yeah, a nice little, nice, some nice little duck touches and details there. On the other trainer, you can just see the foot patrol sign, you know that sign, and then you've got the actual Reebok um, text. So I think the foot patrol on the other shoe is the Reebok text, but in foot patrol and then vice versa. Then you've got this detail in here, which again, sets it off man i think it looks it looks it looks all right it looks all right same detailing in the in there which you probably can't see um and there isn't much more is there anything different oh, i've put my foot in it and it's gone wonky um then you've just got the normal reebok classic workout so priced at 95 pounds there is no resale value in these at all but i think i think it's a i think it's a heavy trainer Enough people would disagree or say, I'm not paying that. If it didn't have Reebok on it, I wouldn't buy it. Uh, <coughs> if it didn't have if, if it didn't have Reebok on it, I wouldn't buy it. If it didn't have foot patrol, if it wasn't a collaboration, you wouldn't buy it. That might be true. But if they were £65 with that quality and that level of detail, I might have bought them. I probably would have. I buy a lot of stuff and then I either love it in the end or, or regret it in the end. Um, more money than cents, I guess. But anyway, what are your thoughts? Did you manage to get these? Apparently, they are completely sold out. They sold out over two days. Online, they sold out within the hour. In store, they sold out almost immediately. I think it took a few. I think the last pairs went sold today or something. But um, what are your thoughts? The Foot Patrol Reebok Classic collaboration, the workout collaboration. On foot, they look heavy. I'm definitely going to do an on foot video, so keep it locked for that. It won't be on this video, but it'll be a separate video by itself. So keep it locked. Rain the mama, 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 mask signing O U T.